Hey there, everybody. I hope that you are having a great Thursday. We are going to do something that we don't do a lot of anymore, and that is a magazine harvest. So this is a craft with me magazine harvest video. If you have magazines lying about or if you have some things to cut out, then grab yourself a cuppa and let's cut some things out because we like to do things like this. I wanted to say thank you for all the support over at the Etsy store recently. I've got paper packs to go in there again today. I've been the beneficiary of just some awesome de-stashing <laughs> that some folks are doing. I love, love, love to get uh, de-stash boxes in the mail. It is really fun, and it's really fun to put paper packs together for you guys. So what I'm going to be working with today is a copy of Wilderness Travel. This is a magazine that you can order for yourself at wilderness-travel.com. It's really exquisite, you guys. It has beautiful colors in it, beautiful scenery, has maps, and basically what I like to go through uh, here and cut out the maps uh, because they really do lend themselves well to mixed media or art trading cards or you know if you're doing clusters or something like that the colors in this magazine are exquisite this cover right here lends itself really well to uh, to doing a traveler's notebook type insert so the first thing that I want to do is just kind of pull the, the front cover off this magazine and just put it on my desk and I will make that into uh, a traveler's notebook. You can see just the exquisite pages up here, the lovely colors. The, the magazine itself is really big. Uh, the pages are about eight and three quarters by 12. So just a large, large piece of magazine stock for you to work with. The papers are also really heavy. I recommend that you definitely check out this magazine. I'm going to be making books, uh, the, the creative um, arts and crafts book. I want to construct some pages for the books. This is the way I really do like to construct the pages. So you can do this or you can have this image as well. What these images represent to me is colors. I mean, your basic color palette is, a, you know, basically what we're going for here. Really love this as well. I'm going to see how this folds up. This is always like a uh, a process to see what might happen here with, uh, you know, with a magazine page. I can see that I really do love this image right here, and that is what we're going to go with. You could always glue these things together. I don't glue them together because my books are... My books are um, string bound. Um, what's the word? Yeah, it's like, it's that time in my life where I can't remember words. Um, wrap binding. <laughs> That's it. That's the words. I think. Uh, what I'd like to do here is choose an image to go over this. I really did like the way the page came together. I'm going to set that aside and see if I... Look at that. Isn't that just as exquisite? It is a little bit shiny. I want to stand up and... Yeah, we're getting a lot of shine here. Let me ditch one of my lights. I think that will be a lot better for us. So we're just going to... Same um, this way. So you're, you're just kind of looking at the way that the page is laid out. And you're choosing, you're choosing the image that you like. And like I said, because everything in my journals is string bound, you can pull this out of your book and flip it over and go, oh, well, I really like the rhinoceros better. And then use the image like that. So it's really your decision. It's up to you what you want to do with the images in your book. Um, I see, I see a word that I think would work to kind of alter 
this page right here. And I think what I'm going to do is get rid of the whole thing, like choose how you travel and just put the word follow right here. Grab a glue stick. I'm also looking for images and words, numbers, that kind of thing, because I'm out of... I'm out of the um, collage items for my paper packs as well. So I'm kind of looking into that too. Love this photo right here. So pretty. I'm, I'm not sure how long this is going to be. You guys know that I have the struggle with my hands and my wrist. I like the word total. So we're going to cut that out too. And we will just build a stack to the side here of images and words. Not necessarily things that might go together. I also, you guys you know this if you've purchased my things before, I like to tear paper instead of cut it, which is kind of working out great when you're... Um, you know, when your wrists kind of get wonky, no complaints. Occasionally, everybody's wrist will get wonky. All right, so we've got a map down here. It's just small. Uh, I do love this image here. It's very inspiring. I think that is a, an image of maybe algae or sea life. You know, and anytime you're doing a collage, these are these are things that you... You know that you um, that you want to look for. I also am keeping a stack of just things to recycle and repurpose. Love this. I'm not. I don't have a desire to climb a mountain. How about y'all? I'm thinking I'm good right here. <laughs> I do want to do heights. like this. This would make a nice little image, a collage image right here. I love putting together the collage envelopes that go in the paper packs. They're so much fun to do. So much um, um, love, energy, time, effort goes into um, making sure that you guys have Really super creative things to work with uh, in those paper packs. They are total labor of love, but I love do, doing them for you. I like the word ultimate. So we're going to clip that out right here. That over there in our collage stack. So you've got a couple stacks. You've got your collage stack. You've got your um, page stack. And then we've got a stack right over here that we are going to recycle when the recycle comes. I hope this one works out. Okay, so if I fold this like this, you really don't get the giraffe image, right? So just kind of Wiggle it around, figure out what you can do, and there you go. Lost Worlds of Ethiopia. That's interesting, isn't it? what we could do here. You can go ahead and fold it. But I do see that, you know, you can leave the text exactly like this because it just tells about what you see here and um, how to take this trip if you choose to. 
or you can start to do your own collage thing with the words that you're cutting out. So there's always a way, y'all, to alter what you're doing, to alter the um, to alter the the scene, so to speak. This is wildly pretty too. It's fun to you know, go through here and think, well, this is a place I would like to visit, or this is a place that I would like to, um, to spend time in. It's okay to be an armchair traveler. There's no worries there. You didn't have to pack a bag. One of the best things on TV, um, this is so beautiful. This is a um, this is Petra, I do believe. Really gorgeous. One of the best programs on TV is Rick Steves Europe. I think that Rick Steves really immerses himself in the culture wherever it is he's visiting. You know, he's going to take. I, I like this, but I really like this. I really like these colors here. So I think we're going to kind of cut these out again for collaging and when you collage you can use the whole image or you can use the half image I myself am really partial to a half image I think they work out really great or you can just use just this color palette. You know, you can do tons of things that you can do with it. Uh, so Rick Steve Europe is really great on PBS. Whatever your local PBS station is. made these maps y'all a lot smaller than they used to be in this book. I do not know why. But they are. Alright. I'm really getting kind of a nice stack for collage. But I am noticing that I'm a little light on words. So I think I will. Also, you know, if you guys are just cutting, if you're cutting along with me, I know that you know this trick, but you can always kind of fold an image like this and fold it up and do that. You know, just make yourself a little paper flower. These turn out so well. Look at that. Doesn't that turn out really nicely? And it's nice to know that you have, you know, that you have options for, for what you're doing. Um, I also really like to, I like treasures. I'm going to cut that out. This talks about treasures of the Dolomites. And the Dolomites are in um, Italy. I was blessed to go to Italy for my 60th birthday. It was all kinds of fun. Okay, let's, let's take... Um, let's just take this image. I'm, I'm going to show you another little... A really fun little trick to uh, to make your own painty papers without painting and I'll make I might make this into a short because it would be fun to do for a short um, just looking for kind of a blank ish piece of paper or some cardstock or something hang on 
Um. Okay, so just grabbed a piece of cardstock. Now, if you you know if you're familiar with painty papers and you want to do your own, but you don't want to do all that painting, then this is a great way to get that effect. So we've done some flowers here, and we've also, we're gonna do some painty papers. Which are lots of fun. The idea is to not use the image as it was. It's just gonna kinda jumble that up, and let's start with this. I'm gonna grab a glue stick. I'm just gonna, that weird noise is Chris playing drums, so. Sorry about that. Well, not really sorry. <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> He's a musician, so. He's playing drums. We've got some green here, which is really pretty. You know, you're kind of DIYing your painty paper, right? Kind of making, making it your own. There you go. And then you can um, either leave it like it is, or you can get going and do it this way as well. It makes a really, really, really interesting kind of spaced out <laughs> looking thing. Also, with something like this, you can't, we might revisit these in another in another video, also with something like this, you can uh, take a little bit of white paint and a credit card and kind of distress it a little bit. We'll do that in another video. It's really, really fun to uh, to play with that technique. Let's proceed with what we were doing here. Um, I think I am going to grab another magazine. Um, this is a fill and Philatelic magazine. This is the stamp magazine from the post office. Again, it's another freebie. I order my stamps. I really do love having this. It allows me to go through here and decide the stamps that I want, and then I go to the website and just order them. Again, I feel like this is kind of a heavy duty paper, and I can probably use this as a cover for a traveler's notebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off and put it over here in the stack with the traveler's notebook covers. You can see all of these images are just absolutely awesome. We can kind of just do our first technique, which is just cutting and folding, or, da -da -da -da, you know, uh, not cutting and folding, which I'm really fond of, <laughs> just ripping it out and um, and using, I see this is gonna, this will be interesting. Let's do this and just kind of see what happens. Yep, there's definitely music happening in here. Uh, I didn't know that it was, there was gonna be music, but there is. See, that made a super cool page right there. It's very different. Okay, throw away. If you're really, um, if you're, if you're really, really, really into cutting, you can cut out the individual stamps in a magazine like this, and that makes, you know, that. <laughs> That would, that would occupy your day, my friends. Um, I think I'm going to fold this like this. And then I can put it in a journal. And it has all kinds of accolades right here. Miss you, thinking of you, feel better. Congratulations, Ray, thank you. That's really super cool, isn't it? So we'll put that over there. I'm still looking for words. Oh, goodness. This is a stamp that I've used so often. Celebrate stamp. I just think it's so super cool. And I really do love the top of this right here. You can also, you can see me getting rid of the, 
the white border, which makes the whole thing pop in a different way. Really fun. Look at that. These are Life Magnified stamps. I have not seen these yet on the website where I order stamps. I'll have to see if, uh, if they're there. Wow, that's really something. An oak leaf surface, look at that, amazing. And then on the back is Endangered Species. I'm really kind of liking that. I also really, really like the vibrant colors. A lot of times when I get stamps, when I order stamps, I'll specifically order them um, and, and actually use the remnant of the, here I'll show you. These are like the last stamps I ordered, and I love this image of Chief standing there. And it is, it's a, um, you know, it's, it's a peelable image, adhesive image, just like the stamps are. So I do use these images as well. I think they're super, super cool. Okay, we're going to do just a little bit more, and um, I think we're going to call it... My hands are barking at me. They're saying, okay, that's enough. We've had enough. But I hope this kind of gave you some ideas about um, you know, what to do with the magazine, different, different things you can do with it, different ways you can fold it, different um, images. Uh, you know, you can cut out, you can, look at that, isn't that super cool? This is Roy Lichtenstein. I think these will be a lot of fun to put in journals, y'all, because this will, like I said, man, this will keep you occupied forever should you choose to cut the stamps out. Or, of course, you can use you can use a, um, a paper cutter and cut them out as well. Here are skateboard stamps. I love the skateboard image right here. I was walking uh, Seuss the other day, and the guy down the street has just bought a house, and he's learning to skateboard. That says a lot about my age. The guy down the street bought the house on the corner, and now he's learning to skateboard. Okay, that's it. My digits are hurting. So it's time to me for me to go downstairs and maybe grab a grab a cup of coffee or some tea and give them a break before I set out on my next journey, um, making books and making paper pads for you guys. So just um, you know, order order yourself some sweet magazines and. And have a cutting journey and uh, put together a collection of things for collage. Remember, you can make flowers, which are pretty cool. And you can always do um, painty paper kind of things by using magazine strips as well. So we'll probably revisit this in another tutorial. This isn't really a tutorial because I have no idea of what I'm doing. But another video, another visit, okay? I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care of yourselves. Please visit that C-Store. Lots of stuff over there. Thank you. Bye.